はいラニさん、えー、朝早くて起きたんですから、えー、なんか着いたんですよねだからあのおいしい朝飯を作ってくださいますかうんお疲れ様でした If you wanna know what's cooking what's running running nine 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 Okay let's make dash stock Watch the comb curb And wipe it Add in the water and set aside for about 20 minutes. Transfer the kelp and the water to a pot and place it over medium heat. When small bubbles appear from the bottom, remove the kelp. Japanese men can even use chopsticks. When it comes to boil, add all the dried bonito flakes all at once, turn down the heat a little, and simmer for a few more minutes while removing the foam. Strain the liquid through a sieve of fine mesh or paper towel slowly to obtain the clear soup in a bowl. So this is dashi soup. Maybe you don't have to make it because we're gonna use asari, which is short necked clams. It has a lot of flavor already, so maybe you don't have to make dashi. But anyway, wash the shell like this. Okay, let's make salt water. Okay, we're gonna make them to expel sand from the inside. Pour in just enough water to cover. If you put too much water, they are not gonna be able to breathe, so don't put too much water. They are still alive. They like dark place, so you want to cover with something. So you can make the clams expel sand from the inside by putting them in salted water like this. You can't see anything difference because they are mostly clean. But you should do that anyway, even if you buy them at the store. Just set aside for about one hour. After that, rinse the shells well again. Add the stock to the pot. I'm gonna put some sake. Add the shells. Bring to the boil over a medium heat. You can reduce the heat here and wait until all the shells open.
add miso into the soup while softening. Over low heat, maybe one more minute. Just don't boil it. Tasty miso soup, it's done. I have salmon fillet here. Sprinkle some salt. Let it stand for about 10 minutes. Wipe off the excess water from the salmon. Brush some olive oil. You can remove the skin if you don't like the skin. And just uh, fry. It's just so simple taste. Break some daikon radish. You can use pond sauce or soy sauce, whichever you like. I like pond sauce better. And top onion or miso soup. Okay, this is very typical Japanese breakfast, but you can have egg and also you can have natto. Now it's perfect typical Japanese breakfast. Today's customer was Yoshimasa489. Thank you for ordering. Okay, for those who doesn't know about natto, you open the package, you will see mustard and seasoning sauce. Natto is super sticky, stinky, fermented soybeans, like this. It smells really bad, nobody likes the smell. Some foreigner told me they liked it, but I doubt if they really do. I eat natto sometimes, but not all the time. The more you whisk, the more it gets sticky. Can you smell? Close up so you can smell. Forget about natto now. Let's move on to tasting time. Mm. おいしい。ちょっと出汁強いですね。やっぱりちょっと出汁いらないのかもしれないですね。うん。さあ、納豆いきましょうか。So what I'm gonna do with natto is you make a hole. soy sauce it's gonna look like this and you just mix it okay I'm not joking I'm not I mean uh, this is what we do in Japan I mean not all people, not all Japanese people, but I think many of us do this way. So I know you think it's gross, but just respect the culture, okay? This is our culture. I'm like, 
卵納豆ご飯 I know I know many of you guys now want to say disgusting something うんおいしい So this is very typical Japanese breakfast but not many people eat breakfast in Japan anymore I don't usually eat breakfast myself and I don't get hungry in the morning so, Do you get hungry in the morning? right after you wake up? So what is your typical breakfast in your country? and where you come from? 